Is Casey Neistat doing daily vlogs again? Now, I found Casey Neistat about halfway through when he was doing his little daily vlog thing for a little over a year, every day. I found him quite interesting. I liked his videography, the way he shot stuff, his editing, his time lapses, all that fun stuff. Uh, the way he made props and did all kind of things. I found him very, very interesting. So what I did was I went back to the beginning of his little daily vlog thing and I basically binge watched it like it was House of Cards or Game of Thrones or something. Now along the way he was making this company called Beam where it was an app you just put the phone up to your chest or wherever and it would record little clips and beam it out and people would see it. So he kind of got involved in that and some other things he's always in doing stuff and he decided he didn't have enough time for his daily vlogs. So he kind of cut it short. Every once in a while he'd still put out a video, but it was, let's say, refined and real professional and more like a documentary. So lately, I've seen Casey's been popping up almost on a daily basis again. For a couple days in a row, he's been putting out like a daily vlog again. It might not be exactly like his old daily vlog, but it's a lot more similar, less documentary and less big production with the whole team and crew and everything. Back to uh, what he did that everybody tuned in to watch for. So yeah, I know he's a busy guy on the go. He's got businesses and he's got a family and he's got all kinds of stuff going. But uh, I hope he does take a little bit of time and goes back to maybe not every day, but putting his vlogs out there because we miss it. At least I know I do. So this is Blind Views. That's my take on the Casey deal. I hope to see him soon. And yes, as always, that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud.